Hello and welcome. You've probably got exams coming up soon in the next few weeks. So what I've done here is put together a video of tips and tricks, things that might help you help you get ready for that exam. Now, please, as always, thank you for watching. Please, before you go any further, please like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. So let's go and have a look at some tips and tricks that might help you. So the first thing we're going to think about is what exactly is revision? So it's all about the recall. It's all about the process you go through so that when you get into that exam, you can recall the information you need. So make sure that you practice and refine the skills you need for the exam. And we can talk about that in this video. And if you think about exercise, if it's not challenging, if it's too easy, it's not really doing very much, your revision is exactly the same thing. It should be difficult, uncomfortable and challenging for you. Otherwise, it's not really making making you make much progress. And again, we'll look at something else in the video now that's going to help you with that. I've got some tips and I've got some tools that can help you with that point. It should be planned and you should really know what you're doing before you even begin. So you're not just going to pick up a random textbook and start looking at it. You should be planning it out. You should have exact time frames so you know exactly what you're going to do. So now let's look at some research by Professor John Donovsky, and you can see you've got a method, elaboration, and impact. So it's fairly self-explanatory. Down the left-hand column, you've got the method, so summarizing through to distributed practice, and you've got a bit of a bit more detail, elaboration in the middle column, and then it's impact, and obviously you're looking at high impact as being the most effective. So practice testing comes quite high impact which is why my channel is full of past papers, so you can practice yourself. Also got interleave practice, which would do different kinds of problems. So that is also thinking about the space practice as well. So you go through one topic, you leave it for maybe a week, and then you revisit it, and that's space practice, that's interleave, and you mix the different topics in, you don't go through kind of in a linear fashion through the specification. You mix them up, and you've got rereading, imagery, mnemonics, now, we're not saying that the low impact are not what you should be doing. You do need to do them, but what we're saying is that the high impact is going to have more of an impact recall. But you still need to do some of the low impact things. So perhaps if you're thinking about planning your vision, then it might be heavily influenced by the more high impact kind of activities like practice testing, past papers. Now, there is something you can do right now that is going to make a massive difference to your revision. It's going to be a game changer, particularly if you haven't got long left. Do this right now. Half an hour well spent. Download my PLC. Link in the description. Go through it carefully. Pick areas you're weakest at, the red areas. They're your priorities. Focus on improving these and use the knowledge organizers to help top up any knowledge, particularly before the exam would be really useful to get this printed out. A3 color would be really great if you can and use those before the exam. So how do we use that then? Well, it's a PDF file. You can download it. You can print it out if you want and fill it in by hand, or you can just simply use fill and sign if you've got that function available to go through and tick it like I have. So you go through each part of the specification and you tick what you can do, which is green, what you're sort of okay with, and then the red, the most important. That is most important because that's what you can't do. That's what you need to do right now. That is your priority. The green is okay. You don't need to go back. Maybe just kind of brush over it again, but the priority areas are your red areas and you need to go through them. So why is this useful? Well, what it will do is it will prioritize your revision. So rather than go through everything, all the stuff again and again and again, which is a waste of time, you are focusing on your priority stuff you don't know. So you're focusing on the red areas, things that you need to improve on, get better at, and they're going to be your areas that you're going to work on. So the red areas you're going to pick out and you're going to start to revise. Now, how you revise is you maybe go to your textbook, you maybe go through videos where I've covered specific areas like mainframe computers, you go through and look at the theory. You could always look up at a certain time. If you're not sure what a mainframe is, you go and look that up. 
So these are your priority areas, not the green areas. It is better use of your time to really focus on those red areas. Another useful thing that you can do is download my knowledge organizer. And again, link in the description, I've made this available. It is free for you to download, no charge, download it, use it, print it out in color, whatever you want to do with it, okay? Use this, particularly before the exam, maybe the night before, last minute cramming, this will be really useful for you to look at. It's got all six topics on there and the revision areas that you need to focus on. So this could be really useful kind of brushing up knowledge. This isn't all of the revision you need to do, but this will help kind of fill in any gaps, maybe last minute gaps that you need to, you need to look at before your exam. And in particular, it would be useful on the morning of the exam or the night before the exam would be useful to look over again. One thing I would suggest to do is perhaps if you can print it off in A3 color and place it around your room. It doesn't have to be color, it could just be in black and white if you want it to, to be. A3 would be best if you can and put them up um, on walls. That would be really useful for you to look at and particularly useful for spaced learning where you're just looking over something you've looked at a week before just to brush up on your knowledge there. So again, link in the description, please feel free to download that. It's another tool that you've got to help you. And finally, I'd like to wish you good luck. I hope your exams go really well for you. I'd like you to remember that proper preparation prevents poor performance. So the more prepared you are, the more you've revised, the better your exam is going to go. It's no big secret. It's been like that since I was at school and before that. The more revision you do, the better you're going to do in the exam. As long as you're following some of the tips and tricks in this video, you will do really well. Now, good luck. Please let me know, either by email or in the comments, how you got on. I always like hearing success stories. And I will say again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.